Stampers. It's Shannon here with Shannon Sizzle and Stampers. I am once again coming to you from Colorado and for my special Farmer's Market Week. And I'm just going to adjust my camera slightly. And I'm going to bring my other camera. I don't know why it's just not zooming in as much as I want. Alright, so anyway, we are going to get started here. Today's project features the In The Moment stamp set, which is one that I have really loved. It features our brand new Starry Treat Bags. And it is going to use some of our Starry Sky Glittery Ombre paper. So, this is another project that is great for you to use at a farmer's market or to make and give gifts for the holidays, for birthdays. Stars, I love those stars. I think of Christmas stars. I think of birthday stars. I think of congratulations and hoorays. Stars, I think of, of the starry night. We went up to check out um, Westcliff, the Colorado area. It happens to be the highest night sky park in the world. And if you don't know what a night sky is, a night sky park, it's one with minimal light. So minimal light pollution so that it allows the stars to shine. So we went up a couple weeks ago, so we scouted it out just to see. So I'm anxious to go back up there. So that's, I was thinking about that excursion when I was coming up with this project idea. So I've also pre-die cut out of the shimmer white a circle. This happens to be from the stitch shapes, but you could use any circle or punch or shape that you want. And we are going to be doing a few things with it. So I've got a, a few other things. So again, remember when you're creating things for multiples, you want things that go together. They have enough, enough pieces to where it warrants your pricing. People feel like they're getting their money's worth and they feel like um, it's something that it's it, I may as well buy it. It's not that much more than for all the time and effort it would take for me to create it. Now, when you're doing gift giving, it's even better to have these things and do them assembly line method, even if you go in and tweak each one and personalize it in some manner. So, to start, one of the first things we're going to do, we're first going to stamp our um, girl. Oh, I've already put her on my block and set her aside. I'm going to stamp her on the circle with our Memento Tuxedo Black Memento ink. And again, I'm not anticipating her to be fully on the circle. You know, she's probably going to not be fully on there. Okay. The next thing I'm going to do, however, is I'm going to slide her in in my treat packaging and I'm doing this because I want to see where those little stars are. See those little tiny stars? I'm going to grab my I may do this with a dauber actually. Let me grab that. Mm. Let's see. Yeah, because otherwise it just looks like a blob. All right, let me grab my ink dauber. Actually, I'm going to grab a blending brush. And then we will grab two colors. Well, me blue and the starry sky. So I'm going to start. And the idea that I want to try to get is to just hit little bits. Let's see if that's going to be, so you know, sometimes I'm creating, yeah, that'll work. Sometimes I'm creating and I am not, I create a lot on the fly for my stamping stuff. So 
I am trying to avoid my black lines. Anything that I can see through there and black lines, I'm trying to avoid it. I'm also trying to make sure I'm hitting more specifically in these window seals and in the kind of in those areas that's where I want to try to hit with my ink the most and you may you may like a dauber better a dauber might be able to get a softer effect So I'm just coming in there and again, anywhere that there's, I feel like there's um, some space and that could be inside or outside of the windows, I'm running my blender brush over it. Okay, so you can kind of see I'm getting some effects of the stars. Now I'm going to just keep on with my bag because I don't want to totally have that not usable. And if I didn't like this color combination with what I'm finishing, I can just grab, I'll save that for another thing and I can grab one more of our little bags, which I think you're going to see what you do. Okay. Because I want my stars to look crisp. So in essence, you're using those stars. That may be something that you just want to take and, for example, I'm just going to do this for this one. Cut this. This is how we roll. And now I have a star stencil. That I can keep. So now I can lay this and come back in a little bit and probably get a few more, a few more stars in there, um, a little bit more around those windows, much easier. Okay. So we're just creating a little bit of a starry background on there. That is step one. And again, if you're doing lots of these, you're wanting it to be easy. And I'm gonna, I'm going to just say, I think the sponge dauber may have been, may have been the better way. I have pre-cut my glimmer paper to just slide right down in the treat bag. Oh, nope, I need it a little bit shorter. I just thought I had cut it enough. Because you need it to be about four and a half, I think, is going to be where it will fit in. So it's just becoming a filler. So then it doesn't matter. Like, I could put these little cherry balls in this bag, and it wouldn't matter because the color is hidden with the paper. I've got a glue, glue dot. So we're going to give that, that's going to be our night sky. Now I know here we did it with the, the one, the balmy blue. So I want to have a little bit more of that starry sky. I'm like, I know I brought my starry sky out. And... I, me and videos this week for doing this farm work, but I don't know, my problem. I'm just going to come back in. These dark inks, remember, you want to bring some color from off first and then bring it back in so that you don't get them too, too dark. But I want to create that illusion of multiple multiple colors of sky and stars behind these windows. Oop, I got a little bit heavy there, but a little heavy ended there, but it'll be fine. I'll just show you what we're going to do with that. So now we kind of have this feel of, of multiple colors of sky. 
Now we are ready to go ahead and color the rest of our girl. So we're going to set our stencil aside, going to set our ink aside for the moment, and let's work on blending her. So one of the first things that we're going to do is really get her skin tone base on because I want to make sure that it you want to get that color to take better than picking up the the blues and purples that currently I have on there so this is using our Stampin' Up! Skin Tone Colors, and this is Blend 700, and I'm probably going to pair it with 1,000. I like that, because 1,000 lets me lighten it slightly without pulling out the color too much. And if I decide that I get it too light and I want it a little darker, or even if I want to do some shadowing, I can come in, and this is 600 which is just great for these, you know, creating a little bit of shadowing in there. So that's a nice, nice, easy way to get a tone. We're going to come in and do her hair, but we're going to put a little barrette in her hair first. So she's got her hair pulled back and we're going to do it in that blue starry sky. This is the light. Nope. Sorry. That was dark or good oasis. Come in here and we'll do her hair and I'm, specifically selected this dark color but again I'm going to bring back in the 600 because no one's hair is one solid color so I bring in some of those lighter lighter tones which are really nice with the skin tones you can create all colors all right so now we're going to come in and we're going to use the dark starry sky blended with our dark night and navy. So we're that's where we're going to pick up and get kind of a denim color pant. Oh, and I see. Oh, just a moment. Right here, we got a little bit of skin showing. So it's where her shirt is lifting up, where she's leaning out. So I get a little bit of color there. So to get these to look like jeans, what I'm doing is I'm bringing that navy in all the crease details first. Okay, now this is going to be a back and forth thing. Now I'm going to bring in the starry sky, the dark one. See, I'm not coloring perfectly. Now I'm going to bring in my light night of navy. But when you get them all together, they really start giving you that denim wash effect. Those those two colors work really nicely for that. I found the starry sky and the night of navy. Now we want to bring in our balmy blues. So we're going to bring in our dark balmy blue party and light balmy blue and we will see how far we get with that let's start with light kind of going with all the light colors in this bring in some dark just to kind of give depth into those places and then we're going to do the Orchid Oasis. That's dark. The Light Orchid Oasis. I didn't bring Light Orchid Oasis over with me. What was I thinking? Grab a couple of grays as well. Okay, so we've got Light Orchid Oasis. I'm going to bring that in for our cup. And we're going to do a bit of blending again with the balmy blue for these pillows. But this time, instead of doing the dark balmy blue for the accents, 
I'm going to just kind of blend in some of the light orchid and then we'll come back over it again. Just gives another little color to, to the effect. Now we're going to bring in a bit of the gray. That's just to give a tiny, tiny bit of definition to these windows. Flood everything with oops the pool party the light pool party. So you see, I'm just kind of going around my stars. Now the other way you could also probably do this would be to come in and do your flooding first and then do your stars on top of it. Okay, now we're going to do, I kind of think it's a fun, I'm afraid that's going to be too dark, but it's pretty dark. Um, we're going to come in and do a fun little edge treatment to our circle. So where I have this gray, I'm bringing in my, my blend and I'm just coloring right on the edge of the, the stitching. Okay. And then as I go up, where's my starry sky, light starry sky. I'm going to kind of come in and capture some of that light starry sky. And then we're going to come into our dark pool party. And you can always bring your light pool party back in and give this all the way around a nice even coat. I love pool party for its shading ability. It adds color, but it adds it softly to create that all the way around. Everything gets blended with the pool party. All right, so see, we've got those stars shining. Hopefully you can see those up close. We've got everything colored really nicely. Um, it looks like I need to go put a tiny bit more color into our skin right there. Um, and it looks like I want a little tiny bit of pool party in there. All right, so that is our tag. So we're going to move all of our fabulous blends. And right now is a great time to get the blends because every $50 that you spend, you are going to end up getting to um, purchase or choose, I should say, choose The uh, celebration set for free. So we've got the cute hippos; those are adorable. We also have um, the wild, the wonderful world, which is all wildflowers. That's one you're going to see that you've been seeing me promote this week. I really love, love that. We're going to come in and we're going to punch this with here. We're going to see if we like it or not. So I just punched, I just put the same thing here and we're going to come in and we're going to add one more sentiment. This nesting pillow, when I first bought it, I was doing a pajama party class and I used it because it reminded me of a pillow. And we're going to stick for two, two scenes from the set and it's you're in my thoughts and then sometimes the most productive thing you can do is relax. I need that reminder more frequently myself. 
I don't think I relax nearly enough. So we're going to go ahead and trim those out. And I love this girl. Not only is she looking at the night sky, um, but that's often a place, you know, we might think about pondering or contemplating if someone really is in our thoughts. So we're going to take our blending brush again and we're going to grab those two colors. So we're just going to give a few accents to, to these and not very heavy, not very heavy at all. And you're going to see me come in with this one in our star template back again. And I'm just going to try to capture again, some of those stars in some of the places. kind of moving the stencil around. Okay. So we just added that in. If you're really careful, you might be able to just see if I can get one tiny right there. All right. So now we've got all of our stuff and this is all just using Take one of your treat bags and make it into your stencil for your stars. And then you would have nine bags. And then every time you make more, of course, you're going to have more. Now, I want to bring a little bit of pool party into this. Um, to really draw that color in. And I think the light is too light. So I'm going to use the dark. I want to bring that green fill that pool party has right to your we're going to end up layering that somehow on there. And I've already put one hole there. I'm going to put another hole. Oh, no, you know what? I think I'm going to end up doing that one down here. Okay, so. The other thing we're going to do is we're going to take our Label Me Lovely. And we're going to punch right out of the other piece of our and we're going to stick that together. You want to make sure you use a lot of adhesive when you're sticking on top of the ombre glimmer paper because it is a rough surface. All right. And now we can, but it has a nice smooth back. So it'll, it'll adhere nicely to your bag. It's going to go right down in this corner. This corner is perfect for that. All right. Now, I put a little bit of adhesive on our strip for our shimmer with our stain. We're just trying to figure out where do I want that. I think I'm going to do it like that. Okay. Now we have some fun new ribbons, twines all kinds of things. So I thought we would just play and I think what we're going to end up with is a combination of, we're going to use the Orchid Oasis twine, the Starry Sky metallic ribbon. Oh, and I just realized I don't even have this ribbon. And this is the new um, white and balmy blue ribbon. And don't have a lot of balm. We have enough balmy, I think, to capture it with our shirt. So we're going to go ahead and this is, I just got this. It's a really thick ribbon. So I'm going to think about that for a moment. It won't fit through my things, but that's okay. So I think what we will do is we will pull. You want to always with ribbon, you want to allow yourself plenty to work with and twines. So we're going to give ourselves a nice length and we're going to run it through our little hole in what I call the lark, the lark's knot. Maybe. 
You know, I think, I think because I'm gonna use that wide ribbon, I will be able to use a much larger hole punch. So I'm, I'm not changing anything yet. Okay. All right, so here is, we've got our big hole punch now. Can easily run that through there. You wanna basically have the two loops so that they open up and you pull your tails through there like so. Now we're going to bring some of this balmy blue to the party. And I'm going to take my baker's twine that's in there. It's already in there. I'll lay one string to the left of my balmy ribbon and one end to the right. Because what I want to do is I'm going to end up creating this tassel effect. And it allows it, it makes it an easy way to add thick or wide ribbons through a hole. And if you want to have that same effect, you can bring to do the same thing with the metallics. You're in essence creating the tassel, but you've you've just put part of it through the hole. The full balmy rib, balmy blue ribbon isn't through there, it just went through on one end. So we want to give it that kicked up tassel effect. And then we're gonna leave those and we're gonna tie the twine, the Arcot Oasis twine in a bow. Nothing else is going in a bow. So if you have like a piece of ribbon like that that gets in your way, pull it out because you don't want it. He's not going in the bow. He is not going in the bow. What I want for him is he is now going to come over and we're going to string him through one of these little tiny stars, whichever one you like. I'm going to do this larger one right there. Just, I think it's going to be easier for me on camera. So you're going to pull that through. A knot is great. Coming back across my Baker's twine bow. That will help secure and hold that bow in place. And then trim everything as you want, or leave it with lots of zhuzh, as I call it. Um, you know, give yourself lots of zhuzhy. Yes. How cute is that? And then you fill it up with all the night treats that you want. And it's a great little gift. And these would be beautiful. And the thing is about when you use the blends, especially for gifts or if you're making projects to sell, like we were talking about this week with farmer's markets, um, but they're great projects for anyone. You can just make these to give. But when you are making something like this and you're thinking about selling it or you're trying to, um, you know, if you sell another product, this is a great way to enclose your product. So if you have, if you sell, like my niece sells crunchy. So if she wanted to include a special crunchy thing for her team member or something she could include this and your team will really feel super appreciated. Or, you know, there's many, I have some friends who sell Mary Kay. I've, we've got all different kinds of people who sell all different types of products. Monet, Martha and Mary. If you've got something great, you could tuck that little thing in at a farmer's market table and then your packaging upsells your whole product as well. Because people want to buy it as a complete gift set and now it's ready to go. But anytime you can add those blends in there, um, coloring with them, it really gives your project a lift because it gives it that watercolor effect. So again, people look at that and think, oh my gosh, I can't do that. I'm not creative or, or artsy enough to do it. But let me tell you, everyone can do it. It's as simple as coloring. 
All right, so I hope you enjoyed today's project. I really love this one. I can't wait to go back out to West Cliff at night and try to take some starry sky pictures. If I do, I will share those with you later this summer. Have fun this week, you guys, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.